The Zoroastrian funeral ritual, known as Tatma, since been practiced in almost all the world, mainly in Iran, where it was common. However, currently some groups inside India, specifically the Parsis, keep doing it. Now, we are going to know why it has declined. For the Zoroastrian religion, the human corpse is something impure. That's why they want to avoid the contact between that impurity and the sacred elements they revere, such as the earth and the fire. Then, when someone dies, there's no burying or burning. Instead, they use the so-called Towers of Silence. In these towers, the corpses are left to be eaten by the vultures. Each building is divided in three concentric rings. In the external ones, they left the men. In the middle, the women. And in the smaller ones, the children. Before leaving your uncle to be eaten, there is a simple ceremony that includes a dog that enters the room. Because, as it's believed in this religion, these animals can see remanent life better than humans, and they can confirm that the person is dead. After the ceremony, the corpses are left in the towers, the vultures do their job, and the wind and sun dry and bleach the bones. Then, those bones are gathered and thrown in the center of the tower, together with lime, which dissolves them over time. As I said before, besides India, it was also practiced in Iran. However, in the 70s, a little problem began to surface. First of all, the cities grew more and more, getting closer to the towers. Now, remember that we are talking about great buildings with decomposing bodies on the top, not very hygienic. Also, the second problem was the decline in the population of vultures. This was caused by two main factors. In first place, the growth of urban areas scarred the vultures away. Second, one study showed that the population of vultures was greatly decreased due to the use of a drug called diclofenac that was given to the cows. The cows were perfectly capable of tolerating the drug, but the vultures that usually consumed the dead cows suffered kidney failure and died. That's why they banned the use of diclofenac in 2005. However, the population of vultures never recovered totally, and without them to eat the meat, the process of dagma becomes longer and nastier. Therefore, the practice was banned in Iran. Nevertheless, in India, the Parsi community started marching in defense of their religious right and succeeded in keeping the Towers of Silence working with some regulations. As the vultures were not enough, they built big solar concentrators that focused all the sunlight in the decomposing bodies to speed up drying. But that solution isn't perfect either, because the heat keeps away the few remaining birds and the system doesn't work on cloudy days. As a result, a relatively clean process made by the vultures in a couple of hours has been replaced by other that takes weeks and releases a putrid odor that spreads for miles around. Even more, some of those towers can already be seen from the skyscrapers built in the cities. Therefore. In the next years, new solutions must be proposed. Without a doubt, this practice is annoying many people. Just imagine living next to a tower with 20 rotting corpses on the roof.